2010 um, slash AFD. Uh, it's the it's the US model, and it's got the uh, got the flame top. It's uh, it's the one that's the it's the replica of uh, the uh, the Chris Derrick um, model that he that he had. Uh, in Appetite for Destruction, bizarrely. See, it's got the little logo on the headstock, but it's not really that as intrusive as I thought it would be. It's quite, it's quite cool. It looks all right. It's, uh, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I don't have my normal regular overdrives. So I know Slash isn't a fuzz user as much, so you know but you still hear the guitar, I mean that's the kind of Slashes number one. And there's Paul, and you know, so I can't. I've never played that, and I'm never going to play that. So I can't tell you what it's like. But I have played a lot of Les Pauls, and um, this is a really good Les Paul. It's a really, really good standard uh, guitarist. It's probably how the, the standard should be these days, to be honest. Um, the neck profile is kind of cool. It's quite flattish. It's kind of like that '60s reissue type thing again. Uh, the finish on it is. It's really cool. It's uh, you know, it's got the nice bit of flame. It's not too much. It's like kind of like a sort of a you know, it's got a kind of older, kind of worn out sort of flame type of thing. Very, very mint condition guitar. It's very nicely buffed and shiny. Frets are all good. Necks good. Pickups are good. have one more overdrive rather than fuzz. Thank you. 